When Kenya got sucked into the Somalia conflict, the radical Islamist Al-Shabaab warned of dire consequences. Kenya, unlike Uganda, which first sent troops to Mogadishu, shares a porous border with the war racked Horn of Africa state. What remained was the day when these insurgents would strike. The Al-Shabaab had already sprung attacks in the northern provinces of Kenya. But they were not meticulous and large-scale like the West Get Mall attack over the weekend. Al-Shabaab, the offshoots of Al-Qaeda, had now brought terror at the doorsteps of Kenya with such a daring move. In the two years, our people suffered the same thing that you're saying now, and our people suffered the insufferable and went through unspeakable horrors at the hands of the uh, Kenyan forces. There will be no negotiations and there will be no surrender. It's exactly uh, uh, the Mujahideen will have gone in there and they will achieve their aims and objectives that they won in there in the first place. However, in the face of aggression, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who lost a nephew in the attack, said Kenya will not buckle under the pressure and will punish those who carried out the dastardly acts. As a nation, our head is bloodied but unbowed. The criminals found us unafraid as we shall ever be. We cannot be conquered. Shortly after the attacks, Uganda, which was attacked by the Al-Shabaab on July 11, 2011, raised its security antenna. Uh, we have heightened our alertness. Uh, if it's moving in terms of, uh, of, of colors, I think we're now in the, in the red, red alert. Since we are uh, the beginners of operation in Somalia, they've been wanting to attack us from time to time. We have information. But because of our vigilance, because of our enduring vigilance, they have not done it. The attacks in Kenya also brought into sharp focus the veritable subject of Islam and terrorism. But Muhammad Chigundu, the Makerere University Academic Staff Association chairman and also a scholar on Islam, weighed in on this debate. Islam is very clear, specific. It doesn't call for such and you should not kill an innocent person. Uh, so I believe uh, the, 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 the terrorists are using Islam uh, as a cover to attain their objective. He attributed such attacks largely to hardships after Kenyan forces occupied Kismayo, the economic pulse of the Islamists. And this spot was used by, by, these, by these groups and they used to get revenue from, those, from, from that port. And uh, so much exports could go through there. Maybe uh, it is said, according to research, that over $50 uh, million dollars could be earned every month per month. Via that, I can look at it as a reflection of anger that is being turned against uh, Kenya because Kenya went in and captured their source of income as well. Though Chigundu condemned the actions of the Al-Shabaab, like he said only diplomacy can ensure lasting peace in Somalia. The whole issue goes back to the African Union to sit and find amicable solutions that can bring back Somalia as a country which is recognized and run by Somalis and not only protecting foreign with their governments there. He argues that the attacks may not cease. But the nationals of the different countries have, been, have got to be very conscious of, 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 of such individuals because uh, the moment you, are not, you don't do community policing, then anything can happen. So you can never take anything for granted. This is what it is. And, the West get more attack have, could likely embolden the Al Shabaab really, um, to export their brand the of terror and, in East and Africa. Africa. Many the of time their influence in Somalia has been just undercut. Just watching them um, at the gate, um, they check boots and they check uh, the, the anti.